uh, one thing is for sure, uh, religion plays uh, a role in the Somali life. Uh, Somalia is endowed with having, uh, being a society with one ethnic group. And uh, with, uh, one, better not to say 100%, but with an absolute majority of uh, Islam uh, as a religion. That also is a plus. But let's not uh, uh, be wrong. The Somalis are moderate Islam uh, to the point of being uh, secular compared to other um, 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 uh, regions, uh, other um, Islamic groups in the area. Since uh, I'm fortunate and it happens that I come from that part of the world and having Somali friends, Ethiopian Somalis especially, uh, their way of life is really moderate. So uh, why is I, uh, I underline the fact is that uh, radical kind of views can uh, can be sown like a farmland and can only grow if there are some you know radical views so that itself would uh, uh, we would uh, we would uh, we should think about this coming to the concrete question uh, it will be if Ali uh, if Ali Tad uh, rather if Al Shabab comes to power if they succeed they are at the Oscars of Mogadishu to come to power and really as they say, uh, Taliban-like uh, 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 Taliban -like Islamic Republic of Somalia, if they establish that, uh, well, the neighboring countries, uh, some of them might not take it uh, very, very lightly. Uh, call it invasion, call it uh, interference. Uh, they might uh, take some measure to interfere uh, in, 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 that, in, 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 the, in, the, in the internal domestic politics of uh, Somalia, which, by the way, I'm of the opinion that if the Somalis really want uh, Sharia law, if they really want an Islamic Republic, it's up to them. The, I'm, the, I'm of that view. But the people are not items. The people are, are not just goods. They are not just physical items. The people have got souls. They have got spirits. They have got human needs. They are not just objects. They should be asked and uh, they shouldn't be subjects. Ali Tad, if it speaks, if it tries to speak and if they say we want to speak, uh, I mean Al Shabaab, on, on behalf of the Somali people, then let the Somali people decide what they want. If we open up opportunities for the Somali people to decide, I think the majority will, 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 will don't, don't want this uh, strict Islamic uh, regimented type of, a, of a, a system being imposed on them. Uh, in the case of uh, Ethiopia, I think the current, given the behavior of the current Ethiopian regime, uh, there is, might be possibility of interfering in Somalia once again. Of course, uh, some fingers have been burned. But uh, the, the Ethiopian regime, um, um, from their take, from their point of view, they say, we have brought uh, considerable peace and stability in Somalia. Uh, that's our record. Let the, our records uh, speak for itself. We had incurred uh, casualties, yes. But while we were there, meaning between uh, 2006, uh, late 2006 and uh, 2008, uh, we have pushed out uh, these elements uh, from the seat of power. We have uh, made it a point that the TFG uh, takes over power, uh, not hold in uh, Baidoa, but as Professor Williams have said, to Mogadishu. So the Ethiopian regime might might inter uh, might come in once once again. Uh, that's how I, I, I see it. H interference depends on the angle you see it. If you ask the Ethiopian regime, it's not interference. They say we are coming based on an invitation extended to us from whom, from the TFG, and now. The grand coalition from the moderate elements of um, um, uh, President Ahmed, if he so uh, does that, we'll see. Time will tell. Uh, from the point of view of the Somali uh, groups, well, whether you like it or not, it's interference. What are you doing in our land? Move out. We don't. We don't want uh, foreign interference.